Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulders, there at the hip. Everybody knew he didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town, stayed all alone. Didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen. And a crash had blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John. Then came the day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast. Everybody thought that they'd breathe their last, except John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man-made hell walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. Grabbed a sagging timber, let out with a groan, and like a giant oak tree just stood there alone. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Then with all of his strength he gave a mighty shove. Then a miner yelled out, there's a light up above. And twenty men scrambled from a would-be grave. And now there's only one left down there to save Big John. With jacks and timbers they started back down. Then came that rumble way down in the ground. And the smoke and the gas belched out of that mine. Everybody thought that they'd was the end of the line for Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. They never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words were written on that stand. The bottom of this mine lies one hell of a man, Big John. Big John, Big Bad John, Big John, Big John, Big Bad John.